It's here, it's here. Google Gemini is finally here. Not sure why I am super excited about it, but this news is pretty big. Gemini, which is Google's most capable AI model till date, has been teased for over months now. They first announced it during their annual developers conference, Google I.O. Meet, in May this year. And get this. There was a report just last week that said Gemini will be released in January 2024. With every major tech company having their conferences in the last couple of months, announcing super cool stuff, including OpenAI, Microsoft, Amazon, and now AMD, Google wanted to make sure people don't forget the big search engine giant who have pretty much been lax. So I love to pace and do things. You should be pacing. Yeah, yeah that, that would make it much easier. As Google mentioned in their blog, Gemini is built from the ground up to be multimodal, meaning that it understands and operates across various modes, including text, code, audio, image, and video. You gotta give it to their stellar marketing videos they launched last night, talking about Gemini features. A number of experts and leads were explaining how cool Gemini is, and they even had Sundar Pichai and Demis Hassabis indirectly explaining why they were late to the AI party. The very beginning is that we always viewed our mission as a timeless mission. But the question on everyone's mind, what's new here? Haven't we seen all these features being rolled out by OpenAI and Microsoft this year? Hold on, Google had that planned out too. Yesterday's announcement saw a bunch of evaluation metrics to show how Gemini fares against other AI models, especially GPT-4. On the massive multitask language understanding benchmark, MMLU, a popular method to test the knowledge and problem-solving abilities of AI models, Gemini Ultra scored an impressive 90%. But wait, what's Ultra? Okay, so how you have different models for an iPhone or Pixel phone launch, such as Pro, Max, Ultra, etc. Gemini is also available in three forms. Nano, their small model for on-device tasks, Pro for scaling across a wide range of tasks and the immensely capable Ultra for highly complex tasks. Gemini Nano will be made available on Pixel 8 Pro phones. Gemini Pro will be powering Google's AI chatbot Bard and Ultra is slated to release early in January. We're about to test the accuracy of this plane I built with Bard and then we're going to send it through that Ring of fire. No silly, Bart did not build that plane. That was YouTuber, engineer, and innovator Mark Robber demonstrating Gemini Pro's capabilities on Google Bart. I'm telling you, Google has extensively spent a lot of time to get the marketing right on this one. Through a series of tests involving a lot of ducks, I mean rubber ducks, I still don't get why the duck, a beautiful video showcasing the capabilities of GPT-4 Vision uh, I mean, Gemini Ultra, was presented to us by a man sounding like Apu from Simpsons. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. Huh. Wow, impressive. But I prefer this one. Well, jokes aside, if Gemini Ultra is truly capable and versatile as the way they're showcasing it to be, it sure is impressive, especially on the benchmarks. However, we need to wait till January to see how the model pans out. So what's going to happen to others? Altman and Nadella, are you guys coming out with something cooler before Christmas? And I wonder what Musk has to say. Go f yourself. Okay, got it. Thank you for watching the ninth episode of my reaction video series. I'm Vandana Nayar from Analytics India magazine.